Tom McGinty, we uh, we spoke after last year's final, and this year uh, it's a slightly different s- Hi. situation. <laughs> to surely, it's you no, know, it's a great feeling, like you know, for the girls and everything. Like you know, we put in a lot of hard work, like you know, since the final last year. You know, this is a team that I've been working with for three years now, and look at, we have a lot of young players coming through and real good talent. You know, so look at, I, I didn't do it all on my own. I had a great man, Junior Hayes, from Park Murphy there. You know, look at, and my daughter there. You know, Claude has been at every training session, you know, and she's, you know, she helps out, you know, and all help out. Like, it's a great parish to be in, like, you know, I'm originally from Mayo, like, you know, so, like, coming into a parish and this is my second time now, but I was with the lads first and I got the feeling that, you know, these girls, I watched them in the 16 final four years ago and the bet drum are here. And I said to myself, when, when no one else was there to take on the job, I said, look, I said, put myself forward for it. And it just worked out, like, you know what I mean? We built a strong, strong panel of 30 players, like, three years ago. We were struggling with 15, maybe, uh, 15 aside. We played 15. We didn't have 15 players. Like, we were using the limit of on the underage system. Look, but look, the club is mighty. Like, Chairman, Michal Ford, like, you know, Eamon O'Grady, the oldest man here. Like, he is a credit. He, when I was down doing the football field, he'd be down giving out to me. He'd be telling me what I was doing wrong, you know. So look, it's all a learning process, look, and we're going to go on and into intermediate next year, and we're going to give it a good outshake. Today's game, of course, uh, it looked like at one stage it might be just that touch too much in terms of the gap, uh, I think 11 points at one stage. Yeah. Um, where, what happened that you could turn that around? Well, we brought the girls in at half time. We spoke to them, like, you know, we knew that we had done the work. We had the legs, you know what I mean? Look, at, we went through the whole championship this year, like we won by big margins, like Manor Hamilton was the only team that put us to the pin of our collar. When we got them the second time, we put them to the pin of their collar, you know, and we watched FINA last Sunday, myself and Junior Hazlett, and I guarantee you one thing, I knew that FINA were going to be up for this fight, like, you know, but to get an 11 point lead on us, I wasn't too happy at that at half time, like, you know, and some of the girls will be telling me tonight what I said to them and what I didn't say to them, but look it, I'm not worried about that tonight, look it, this, this championship was for them, right, and look, we've won it, and that's all you can do. Intermediate football now next year, will you stay on and give that a crack? <sighs> well, I don't know, I'll have to sit down and think about it, you know, yeah. you know, like a family and everything, like, you know what I mean, but look it, I kind of see I couldn't. You know, and I kind of say I will, I will and I won't, you know what I mean? But look, I'll, I'll sit down and in a month's time I'll think about it, you know what I mean? You know, look, football is in me, <laughs> and look, I'm not going to give up yet, like, you know what I mean? But look, if we go at the Intermediate Championship next year, we have a great team. We will shake the best of them. And look, I feel sorry for Fina, because we were in that position last year. And Podge Rowley, and he is a, a sheer gentleman, like, like, he had a real tough week of it this week and everything, so I know everyone like last this time last year i had a tough week before the county final and look it we just get on with it look we've won it and we're junior champions and thank god for that well done all right thank you